What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on the crown jewel of this October's auction at the New England Motorcycle Museum, manufactured in late 1969. This is an absolute stunning beauty. Stay tuned. I've got 70 others coming up right behind us. Fun-filled, classic motorcycles. Enjoy the show. What's happening, fellas? Welcome to this month's auction at the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles. First bike up is a GPZ 550. This is an absolutely gorgeous one-owner bike with very low miles, 8,000 miles on it. 100% stock original, tuned to perfection by Jeff Castine. She's ready to go. Full videos on each of these bikes will be at the New England Motorcycle Museum homepage. You can click on there or the KaplanCycles.com homepage. 73 MX360, ready 70, for vintage racing. Oh yeah, 73 MX360. This one, we took about a year and did a full frame off. Took forever uh, getting all the parts. It's got brand new forks and everything. Full video of this on the channel. A little ripper, two-stroke, original, big bore, two-stroke. Next up, we've got one of my favorites here. This is a pristine 1983 Yamaha YZ100. Full frame off restoration on this one. This is another one that took us about a year, uh, gathering all the parts and components. This is probably the best one we've done yet. It's a fantastic machine. The, ne the next unit up is a Yamaha RT1 360. It's an RT3. RT3. 73 RT3 73 360. This one is another low mile, 1,900 miles on this big bore two stroke. She's ready to go. Again, go to KaplanCycles.com. There'll be a link on there to the auction. It's K-A-P-L-A-N cycles.com. There'll be a link to the auction on there. You're going to find full 15, five to 15 minute videos on each one of these bikes. So I'm just giving you a quick highlight. Now, here's a beauty right here. One of my favorites, a red, white, and blue Honda XL600R. This is another beautiful piece from the Justin Smith collection. This one's only got 3,000 miles on it. These bikes are listed right now. The RT3, this one, they're, they're not going to last very long. We've already... Uh, had several interested buyers, but there is a buy now option. First one of that takes the bikes home. Yeah, no, we actually uh, posted these bikes up last night, Sunday night, and a lot of them are getting bids. Unfortunately, 10 of them sold instantly, um, which much to my surprise, people opted on the buy it now button. There is a buy it now on most of the bikes unless they, they've met the reserve. This, this next one, this is a super special piece. This is a pristine owned by a, a woman since brand new Honda XL185. This is one of my favorites in the auction. 767 miles. It's the right color. The red and chrome. Beautiful Honda Enduro. Totally bulletproof. Fellas, now we have up next my, one of my favorite all-time motorcycles. This is a service Honda CR500 AFX. This is absolutely stunning machine. Bristling with technology front to back. Uh, look at all the, the high-end accessories on there. The rims. Got Talon ribs. Talon rims, talent hubs, Hoosier tires, and of course, service Honda, nothing but the best. Those, those new are over 20 grand today. Here's another one. This is an absolutely gorgeous CR500 AF. Also, this one's a beauty. Uh, this has got a uh, Packard Engineering race package on the motor. In fact, this, this one here has the highest dyno horsepower of over 80 CR500s we've tested in by, is, the second place all time on our dyno for CR 500s, first place for aluminum frames. It's 60 horsepower at the rear wheel, absolute rocket ship. Next up, we have a classic Penton. This one here is signed by John Penton himself. This is the last year they were named Pentons and it went to uh, KTM. You can see it has a KTM motor. This is an absolute, this is a 99.5 point bike. I won't call it a 100 point bike because somebody I'm sure would find something wrong with it, but it's the finest I've ever seen. And we've had a lot of pentons come through. Speaking of bikes, it won't last very long. This one will be gone in a New York second. If you're interested in that one, buy it now because once it's gone, folks, you're not going to find a nicer one than this ever. Next up, this is a really rare, rare piece. Montessa Capra 360 VB. Full video on this one also. Billy rode this one. It is an, I rode it. It's an absolute rocket ship. This, is, this bike has all original components on it, estimated total ride time, somewhere around an hour on it. It's not brand new, but the guy who had this bike also has a brand new zero hour, never ridden Montessa 125 that's coming up in the auction next, so stay tuned. Guys, the next one up is the absolutely last in the world known brand new Capra VA 125. This bike has never had gas in the tank. It's never had the clutch released in gear or ridden. Uh, it was never started until it came here. We wanted to make sure the mechanical integrity electrically 
and the seals were all good. So the, it got a full preservation service and we actually started it off a bottle. We did not put gas in the tank. It, it was not ridden. It was only started to make sure all the engine seals and everything were perfect. This thing is absolutely brand new. Not even a tenth of a mile on it. It's never been ridden. Last one in the world. Only here at New England Motorcycle Museum. Where else are you going to find a brand new Montessa? Guys, feast your eyes on the Horsepower King. This is the most powerful CR500 we've ever put on the dyno. It's a full frame-up restoration. The motor's brand new. Everything's brand new on this bike. And this put down just under 61 horsepower, half a horsepower more than the aluminum frame service Honda that put down 60, I think, uh, 60.1. So this is the fastest 500 we've ever had, and we've had a lot of them. It is an absolute freaking rocket ship. If you want the best of the best, this is the one. It also happens to be my favorite year of the 97. Full video on this one on the channel. Check Getting it out. Mid-frame running the key and carb. Jetted to perfection. It's an absolute rocket ship. This next bike up, I can't believe this didn't sell uh, yet. Uh, it's it's going to sell. There's a bunch of people uh, been calling about this. This is a peak antifreeze, peak split fire, peak CR500. It's a pro circuit factory race replica. It's a 1992. This has had a full one-year nut and bolt. Everything on this bike has been redone. The forks have been sent to Japan with a new Kashima coating, not the not the uh, cheap stuff. This is was sent to Japan and done. It is uh, zip by Zip Tie Racing. Just an absolutely fantastic machine. DID dirt start rims. I could ramble on that one all day long, but that's that's a one of a kind right there. Next up, the last. Known new mint original CR500 1991. There's a full video on this one. This one will be gone soon too. Uh, you, you just don't find CR500s with under five hours on them anymore. That's a rare original bird. This right here is another bike that that uh, has been in. The, this is this was a two-year project, believe it or not. This is a '74 RD350 that we did a frame off on. We uh, actually sent it to Jeff Casting when he had his shop still before he was working here full time. That's how long ago it was. Lots of money, lots of time put into this one. Check out the full video for details. It's a brand new motor. Everything's new mechanically on it. It's ready to go. Guys, this, is, this one hurts a little bit, but I'm putting it up for sale. This is the Kaplan America Buell. This is the most famous, most videoed Buell in the world, to my knowledge. It was actually the centerpiece of Liberty Harley-Davidson. That was the owner's bike there. Um, it's never been registered. It's on the original manufacturer's C CFO. I've ridden it with a dealer plate on it, but it's got 900 miles on it was sitting in the one of the largest Harley dealers showroom. It was part of his brochures. It's been in the in our reality show. It's been on Discovery. It's been on Motor Trend TV. Um, and it's been in a bunch of our videos. So it's the most famous Buell on the planet. And it's red, white, and blue. What can I tell you? It's a Patriot missile. Full video on that one online if you want to hear that one roar. Here's another kick-ass piece. We had two of these for the auction. I told you guys that, that, that 10 bikes had already sold. One of the 10 that already sold was the twin to this one. It was a 100% stock original RM250. It just sold for $10,000. It was brand new, never ridden. This one's been ridden, but it's been fully restored. It looks brand new. It's set up for racing. Full video of this one on the channel. It's an absolute rocket ship. That's, I almost flipped it over in fourth gear, actually. It is so fast. That one's ready to take to the starting line. That one's up for grabs, too. Check this one out. This is this ultra rare Kawasaki KX420. One of one available for today in the country. It's certainly uh, one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. It basically looks brand new. There's a full featured video of it running, explaining everything. Check it out at KaplanCycles.com. And uh, this bike speaks for itself. It's basically a brand new big bore two-stroke. Check out this Trail 90. This isn't any ordinary Trail 90. This is one with a brand new Ken O'Connor engine rebuild. Uh, piston, rings, top end, bearings, uh, valves. There's a full video on this one with it running. Check it out. Um, this one's over $3,000 in parts and labor and a mechanical restoration. The cosmetics are all original. Just a beautiful original survivor. If a pinup girl ever came in the form of a, of a motocross bike, this would be it. Look at this beauty. Olin shocks, gold rims, blue, white, and yellow plastics and graphics. And it's just a stunner. Big bore 500cc Husqvarna two-stroke. Uh, this bike speaks for itself. If you want to hear all about it, check out the video. We've got a full featured video on it. Just a beautiful piece. One of the few left in the United States. Most of these uh, very low production compared to the Japanese bikes. Check out this. This is something you'll probably never see again. This is an all original, right down to the front tire, 1976 CR250M with maybe an hour ride time on it. It's absolutely stunning. Fresh out of the Randy Gillespie private collection. It's been in a radiant heated 
uh, windowless uh, climate control facility for many moons and the condition speaks for itself. It's, it's a, one of the last ones of its type and it's beautiful. Full video, full featured video on this one too. Look at this candy apple green beauty. This is a 1971, it's 50 years old. It's been completely restored cosmetically. It looks like brand new. Just a beautiful piece, new tires and everything. Hop on this and head to the beach. Guys, we're now on the first floor. There's about 40 bikes in here, plus the ones upstairs. I wanted to um, show you these bikes too. We're not gonna roll them out like we did the other ones because the staff took off for lunch and Junior and I don't have the energy to do it. But if you wanna watch, or the time, if you wanna watch the videos, go to kaplancycles.com. There's an extensive video on each one of these bikes, starting with this kick-ass 1968 Triumph 500 bobber hardtail chopper with the 12-inch uh, overextended front end. The next bike up is an absolutely pristine original paint Triumph Cub 200. This thing's all original right down to the paint. The only thing that's not original on it, to my knowledge, is a seat cover. The next one up is a Galera 125. Then we get into the Osas. I've got a beautiful all-original Osa 250 Enduro. It's not seized, does turn over. As same thing with, with this Explorer. Full videos on these. Then I've got a Harley Davidson AMF era Armaki 125 with, I was told it was an NOS gas tank. It almost looks too nice to be an original paint job though uh, from Harley. Uh, the guy I got the bike from said it was NOS uh, tank that he paid a lot of money for. Either way, the bike is beautiful and all there. Next one up is a super rare Baja 100 Harley Davidson. Full video on this one. This is Harley Davidson's, they call it the Baja because they raced the Baja 1000 on this if you can imagine that. Kick ass, 100 cc. Harley Davidson Enduro. Next one over is an AMF era, same thing, AMF 125. Then we get to a snow runner, Chrysler snow runner. Kyle's really into snowmobiles. He said there's a cult following on these. He wanted to restore this. He had purchased a brand new um, drive belt for it and some other components, but he decided that uh, he, he wasn't gonna do it. So that one's going up for grabs. We have the Panther 175, 248 miles on that bike, guys. I've never even seen one before, let alone one with 248 miles. Then we've got the legendary Mako Sand Spider 490. Legend has it that Honda copied all the, the uh, dimensions on this when they made their CR500, and that's why that turned out so good. But this is considered to be the best motocross motor of all time, big bore two-stroke. Then we have a YZ125, 1981. We have a Vespa scooter. We've got a, a BMW K100 parts bike. We have a, a Kawasaki LTD 750 bobber. Then we've got a um, Baja doodle bug mini bike, a KTM 250 motocross bike. Look at the cylinder fins on that thing, <coughs> huge. Complete except for the rear fender and seat <coughs> and airbox. Then we've got a 100% original. This is a uh, BSA 500 with 2,148 miles. This is the SS model of the Gold Star, highly collectible BSA. Then we've got another classic. This is a uh, Beta 125. We've got a KX85, and then this is an original owner, one owner. I don't know if you remember the video. Old boy bought this up, his brother's GPC 550, and then another Ninja. The first Ninja sold. This one's going up for auction. This is one he bought brand new in 84. One owner, Ninja. I feel the need for speed. Over here, we've got a Honda S90, uh, a little cafe racer. Then we've got a Honda Twin Star uh, 250, or is it 200? It's a 185. 185. Whatever, we got one of those full video on that. We got a Honda 754. We got a nice lineup of Hondas here. Honda 754, Honda CB900F, Honda CB400T converted to Cafe Racer, a Honda Dream 250, an Interceptor 700 with Kirkers on it. Then you got to take a look at take a close look at this one here. This is um, uh, this is a Honda CB754, original 71, 100% original stock, right down to the pipes on it. Actually, it doesn't have the original shocks, but take a close look at this thing. It's a beauty. Those are going through the roof. This one's priced really low. Um, this side, uh, show them this side over here, the, the tank and, and the badge, just a beautiful piece. Then we've got a 76, uh, 754. Then we've got a Honda 750 Shadow. Uh, these are the turn signals in the bag that's on the, on the tank here, 70 Shadow. Then we've got a Yamaha Virago. This one's kind of a sad story. Uh, we have a $2,400 work order. Jeff Cassini had completely rebuilt the forks, the triple, uh, the, the whole steering stem, the forks, um, put brand new tires front and rear, 
battery, all kinds of new parts on it. And then the, the starter's defective on it. So we're selling this one as is. Should be a video on that one too. We've got a GS850, uh, or excuse me, GS1000. Here's one I, want, I really want to do. I love them 1000s, but that one's going up for grabs. Then we got a GS550 with, complete with a four to one exhaust, Geolava custom seat, uh, shocks, fork uh, braces, lots of cool parts. Then we've got a GT, GT, GT7, GT750 three-cylinder water buffalo. Check out the video on this one. This is the cleanest original one we've ever had through the museum. We had a low reserve of like 2,500 and met the reserve. These are regularly bringing over 10 grand. Low reserves on all these bikes I'm showing you down here. The next one up is a Suzuki TS250 that we started the restoration on. We sent the tank out. It's got a $300 paint job on the tank. New front fender. Lots of good stuff to like about that. Then we've got an 81 RM, 79 RM125. I told Kyle this morning, I don't know why we didn't put a rear fender on this thing. I guess, I guess we just drew a line in the sand. If it wasn't ready, we'd just bottom up. But it needs a, needs a rear fender and some side covers and some graphics and a front number plate and look at 10 times better for under 100 bucks. Uh, that's being sold as is. Here's a cool piece. Original R5 Yamaha. This is a, uh, the predecessor to the RD350. The motor looks identical to an RD because it is, except for it doesn't have the reed valves on it. Um, really cool piece. Last but not least, a Radian 700. This is the fastest production 700 made in its era. And then a Mint original KX65 that, that uh, is, a, a, as far as we know, 100% original. One of Kenny Jr.'s friend's bikes since he was a kid. So, guys, Kaplan Cycles, K-A-P-L-A-N Cycles.com. There's a link on there for the auctions. There's full videos of every bike here disclosing all of the, all of the um, details about it. So, check them out. If you're interested and you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. The auction ends Sunday. There are buy-it-nows on a lot of the bikes. If the reserve has been met, then the buy-it-now goes away. So if there's something you have to have, click the buy-it-now. Call us if you had any questions. Junior, anything you want to add about the auction? Yeah. Message your zip code for a shipping quote. Um, call in, guys, if you have any questions. Good luck bidding. If you want to include your bike in the next auction, give us a call. We do these every eight weeks here, every couple months. We have a big auction. This month's was around 75 bikes. Uh, as of last night, 16 had met reserve and 10 were, they clicked the buy it now, so they're going quickly. If you see one you like, start bidding on it and uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And as always, God bless America.